trying to catch this lightning. It was just lightning like crazy. Like it was about to strike the ground like twice. And they ain't even raining there, but you see how dark the clouds is up there? It's dark. Right. Look like somebody uh, summoned Shinron or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they gather up the Dragon Balls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna happen again, give it about 10 seconds. But no, when we talk about that, I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing right now. Right now, I'm prepping to, um, to it's 3.54 p.m. right now. And I want to um, go to the gym tonight, well, in the morning or two o'clock in the morning like usual. But I'm also going to do a physique update. You know, I weighed in at a low of 171. Um, I'm fasting right now, so I'm totally empty. Been peeing, haven't been drinking much water today. Um, I drank, I water loaded yesterday so I can pee it out today. And today I'm not really gonna drink much water. I want the physique update to look good. It really wouldn't matter about the water weight like last year if I would have been steady posting updates this year. I didn't, so I want this physique update to be it. If if, if, if this is the, you know, this ain't the last one, of course, but I want to be able to start taking my shirt off on my channel and showing the actual fitness that I've been getting from um, the workouts I've been doing. Even though my workouts haven't been totally consistent lately, um, I think under the circumstances, I've been doing really good, I mean, physique-wise. I've been holding on to as much muscle as I can. I'm very low body fat right now. Um, I'm not show-ready shredder or nothing like that, but I don't have to be because I'm not doing a show. I don't feel like it's a smart idea to get that shredded in the first place if you're not actually doing a show. You know what I'm saying? To be, I mean, people will sit there and say they're three or 4% body fat, which they're not. I mean, one of the most ripped guys in the world, um, Alberto Nunez, I think when he does a show, he's like 6%, I think, give or take. So, you know what I'm saying? People be walking around not even barely more ripped than I am and talk about their 3%. And yes, body fat percentage is gonna vary. Somebody can be, 10% and look like they're in single digits, you know what I'm saying? Which is very close to single digits. One more percent, you're in single digits. But I'm just saying, I've never, I don't talk body fat percent, percentage that much on my channel because I've never personally had my body fat percentage checked, you know, accurate. You know what I'm saying? Yes, body, body um, what is it, weight scales, like bathroom scales and things like that, those are not accurate. Those are gonna tell you, I, okay, literally, I did two body uh, fat percentage things, in, inaccurate body fat percentage. The bathroom scale and the handheld. The, the gym that I was going to had a handheld uh, body fat percentage tester and the bathroom scale at my own house. I mean, those are two non-legitimate ways of testing your body fat. It's gonna be way off. Two of them in the same day, within the same hour. I came from the, came from the house, then I went to the gym. At the house, it told me, this is like a couple years ago. At the house, it told me I was like 10%. And at the gym, it told me I was four. <laughs> Which one was more accurate, I don't know. Um, but neither one of them was accurate. There ain't no way in crap I was 4%. I was ripped that year too. Probably more ripped than I am now. I was ripped. And there's no way I was 4% body fat. You know what I'm saying? That's what, you know, professional bodybuilders and stuff get down to. I was no way near 4% body fat, but I was pretty ripped to where you can't even, I didn't have any love handles, which I don't have now. I had abs, really good abs, which I have now, but I wanna see, I don't, honestly, I don't even know until I do the physique update. I'm gonna show y'all, look how dark it is. You see that lightning? Time you see that lightning, buddy? It's gonna be a tornado. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm just telling y'all my plans right now. And, uh, shoot, I hope not no tornado. But yeah, we going to Clemson right now. Uh, coming from Anderson, we're going to go through Pendleton. Uh, Daddy, is that a tornado? Oh, man, really? But, uh, <laughs> I should have went live, but I was thinking about it. And 
and I was like, you know what, I see some lightning, I wanted to catch it on camera, I seen a few of them on the screen, but no, y'all didn't see the ones we saw before I turned on the screen, you know, I got my Honda Civic, um, 2018, I'm driving, I'm in sport mode, but I'm not speed or nothing, I just like driving in a sport mode lately, because it just feels more aggressive, it feels like a stick shift or something like that, and that's coming from a person that never drove stick shift, so don't, don't come at me. You know what I'm saying? If you type it, you know, you drove stick shift. But I'm not the type of person that's gonna say I can't drive stick shift. I just never learned and I never tried it. I do want to learn, I will learn, but um, that's in due time. And I want, like, when I get a good income, like some real good money, I make good money, but when I make enough money to where I can have toys, I want multiple cars and I want at least one of them to be a stick shift. I want to be able to drive and go eh, 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 meh, 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 you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I mean I wouldn't want like to only have a still it's about to start going down look like see them leaves and them trees look at that nice but uh, yeah, man. I mean, it look like it's gonna be a storm. We gonna hurry up and get what we get to. But uh, but I said I wouldn't want that to be my only car. Cause if I'm waking up and I'm tired, I'm groggy, I'm lazy, or I don't want to have to keep on shifting and doing things. I just want it to be automatically driven. So I would I wouldn't want that to be my only car. I would never want that to be my only car. And that's just speaking from somebody who hasn't driven one. So you know what I'm saying. I know people that are disagree with me. I know some people that are disagree with me. They just pull out in front of us like that, but I always watch the road. I don't watch the camera, I watch the road. Oh, um, that's why I point the camera at the road instead of pointing at me. Pro tip, if you cannot, if you cannot focus on your driving and, and vlog hands-free, or you staring at the camera or something like that, then don't vlog and drive. You know what I'm saying? Even when I go live, I try not to read the comments. You know what I'm saying? until I get to like somewhere I'm stopped at. Like if I'm driving by myself, which my son's in the car right now, if I'm driving by myself, I will read comments during red lights. But if he's in the car, I most likely wouldn't even go live. But if I did, I'm not leaving looking at nothing. If I look at anything, it's because I parked somewhere. If I was going somewhere, safety is first. You know what I'm saying? I wear my seat belts. I drive speed limit 80% of the time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I watch for other people because you can be the best person in the world at driving. You can be um, Jeff Gordon or somebody. I'm not even really a, a race fan. That's just the, the, the first name I thought of of somebody that can drive. Um, you can be Jeff Gordon. You still, things can happen. You know what I'm saying? It's starting to rain on my window pane. I'm going insane. Uh, Casey. Casey? What about the wipers? Oh, dang. Uh, slow down a little bit. If it's gonna rain like that, I slow down a little bit. Everybody's still speeding and act like it's regular. It, it feel like it's not gonna stay raining. Oh, wow. I'm gonna switch whenever I stop my car. I'm gonna switch back into regular mode. And why am I gonna switch back in a regular mode? Because I don't want my car feeling aggressive in the rain. If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I'd have slowed down to about about five or six miles under the speed limit. I'm in the right lane, so at the end of the day, you know, if somebody wanna get around me, go around. Nah, but um, why am I so overprotective of my driving? Because I've been in accidents before. I've been in terrible accidents before. I've never been hurt, but the, the way the cars, you know, right down, all right. But um, the way the cars were, especially the first one, it was terrible. You know, I mean, God watching us, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, and I'm saying I'm hands free, I'm talking, I'm not looking at the camera. Just like talking on the phone, hands free. Uh, you need to talk to the camera, I'm using the phone. 
Yeah, I wish I would have caught the lightnings though. I seen a few of them. Okay, slow enough. I'm hungry. I've been fasting, by the way, since 9 o'clock in the morning yesterday morning. So it's been well over 24 hours. It's been like 30, 31, 32 hours. So I ain't even doing the bath. It's like 4 o'clock right now. Um, if I'm going to do 36 hours, 36 hours will be 9 o'clock again, so 5 hours, but uh, 5 more hours will be 36 hours, I don't know, but I do need to eat, that's my thing, if I'm going to do a physique update, I don't want to not have a pump, you know what I'm saying, because if I don't have a pump, if I'm super empty, my glycogen stores are super low, um, Okay, yes, I won't be as watery, but I will look like I'm a bony. I will look like olive oil from Popeye, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going, that's not the look I'm going for, you know what I'm saying? You know, I want to look, I'm a dude, I'm lifting weights, I want to look muscular, so I need that pump. So I need those carbs in me. But the plan is I'm going to eat dirty. I'm, I think I'm going to eat dirty. I want to, I ain't going to tell me dirty. If I get home, I'm going to cook. If, if, if I eat while I'm out, I'm going to eat whatever I want. But it doesn't matter. Sodium, carbs, whatever. Whatever. I mean, the more sodium, it give me more of a pump. Especially the fact that I'm not drinking anything. If I drink something, I feel like it's going to hold on to that water weight. On, on the outside of the muscle. So the difference between water weight in, intracellular and, and extracellular. Intracellular would be like what a creatine would do. A lot of guys are scared of creatine because they say, oh, it makes you hold on to water. But it makes you hold on to water inside of your muscle, not outside of your muscle. You see what I'm saying? So I take my creatine even throughout my cut. And I get more leaner than the guys that say I shouldn't. And I'd be like, dog, if you ain't got the results, I ain't too my horn. But if you don't have better results than me, and you're doing the same thing I'm doing, or you got the same goals that I'm closer than you are with my methods and your methods, then don't talk to me about your methods because you can tell me your method. I'm not being like that. I'm just saying like, I need to switch out of this way. That's the thing about down here, man. The thing, it don't drains on the side. See that truck with the water in front of us? That's crazy. It does just pour down. Like the gate, I mean the flood gates been the, the bottom then popped out whatever they can say I, I don't even know if you've been saying they about to swerve you seen that I'm gonna get that truck in space get that truck in I'm gonna pass that boat I'm gonna pass it. You gotta either pass that truck or give it in space it wanna swerve of course it's throwing water it can't help it but you get away from stuff you don't just sit there in it you know what I'm saying that's one of the reasons I'm glad I wasn't still in sport mode all I had to do was tap the gas and I passed it without no problem. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to go, Wah! you know what I'm saying? I didn't have to do all that. That's a good car, man. I'm telling you, man. Honda Civic. I'm telling you, man. This little Honda Civic was dog in a race. A lot of cars that got bigger engines in it. I don't care what nobody said. I mean, if you got a V6, um, if you got a V6, like, Camaro or a uh, Challenger or Charger. If you got a V6 version of those cars, this would dog that. I don't care. Because your car is too big for that engine. I test drove a V6 Charger because I was going to get a Charger before I got this. And uh, I was like, I wanted a Charger Charger, but I didn't want to pay that much for it. Um, and uh, I feel like you got the V6, you don't really have that car. You just have the outside of it, you know what I'm saying? You got the, the, the frame, the shell, but you don't have that car for real, for real. But, uh, so I ain't about to be sitting there faking the phone. When I test drive a car, I test drive it. I took it on the highway and all that. They just told me to go and come back. I was like, nah, man, I'm test driving this thing, man. So I hit that thing, man. I see how fast it got to 100. My son went in the car, just me and my girl. See how fast it got to 100. And I was like, and I test drove this and it got to 100 a lot faster and it was a lot more enjoyable at 100 
And I was like, not that I want to drive and go 100. I just want to say, you know, I want to have that option to have that zoominess. You know what I'm saying? I mean, of course, this ain't no land board or nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, when it's in sport mode, it feels like it's more than what it is. It's just Honda Civic, but it feels like it's more than that. You know what I'm saying? But Honda Civic is a little zoomy though, but I was just saying, like, you know, and this ain't the base model, it's the EX. It's the, you know what I'm saying? Got some on top, all that, you know, got it fully loaded, da 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 da. But, um, it stopped raining. Turn off these, uh, wipey wipes. Wiper, no wiping, swiper, no swiping. Come around and block my lightning and make some links. Well, I'm telling you, man, I used to be a rapper, man. I used to be a rapper, dog. Carol, I got a wife beater on. I want to show y'all what it looks like, but I'm gonna show y'all. Telling you, watch my physique update. It's gonna be about um, two o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Got it. I mean, yeah. Comment, like, subscribe, share. I love oh, that water. Dirty. You seen the water that's coming from that Mazda on the side? <laughs> you see that dirty water? That red Mazda on the right side of us. Dirty water. Say dirty water. Dirty water. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe, share, holla back at your boys. We out.